Dr. Akiva Gamil Belk, Dean of Jewish Studies at the Nainwak Torah Institute, LLC. Welcome. Welcome to the 2016 Bible Journeys Calendar Discovery. <laughs> um, dear ones, we're in October of the third week. That's the 18th of October through the 24th. And um, in a minute, we'll go to a cutaway so you can see the calendar. And we'll have a outlined rectangular box around the third week. And uh, if you look over on the far right-hand side, under Shabbat, that's the 24th, you'll notice that we have several uh, listings there. One says uh, Gad ben Yaakov, the other says uh, Hanuk ben Yared, and then we have um, uh, uh, Noah enters the ark, and then we have Rachel Amuna and uh, Benjamin ben Jacob. Okay, <laughs> so let's go to the cutaway so you can see what the calendar looks like. And then we'll come back and briefly talk about each of these uh, topics. All right, we've had a chance to look at the calendar. We recognize that uh, when it says uh, Gad ben Yaakov, it's talking about Gad, the son of Jacob or the son of Israel. This is the day that he was born. And this is the day that he passed away. Our sages teach that righteous individuals, uh, they are, are born and die on the same day. And so we recognize, recognize that also with Rachel and Benjamin uh, that were also born on this day and, and passed away on this day. When we see Hanuk ben uh, Yered, uh, Hanuk is the father of uh, Methuselah. And Methuselah uh, lived to be 969 years old. And if you look in the notes, we've broken down what his name means. We have uh, Mat, which means death, to uh, die. And then we have Shla'ak, means to sin. And in between Mat and Shla'ak is the, the letter Vav. And so what we have is we have on one side death and we have sending on the other side. And the Vav in the middle connects them together. And so we recognize that what is being said is when this child dies, destruction comes. When we look at uh, the uh, other listings, we see that Noah, uh, his wife, Naama, and his three sons and their wives and all the animals entered into the ark on this day. And uh, it says that in another seven days that the Lord would bring water upon the earth and it would begin to rain for 40 days and 40 nights. So. Uh, we have to ask this question, well, why were they waiting in the ark for seven days? And uh, this, the answer is, is they were sitting Shiva. They were mourning for the death of Methuselah. And uh, we are told that the angels of the heaven mourned and that the Lord himself mourned and that Noah and his wife and his three sons and three daughters, that everyone mourned the death of Methuselah. He was a very righteous man. And so we see the prophecy in his name. When this child dies, destruction comes after the seven days of mourning. And of course, they were mourning for all the people that would die. They would never have the, the uh, opportunity to enter into Gan Eden, into the Hashemai, and that their memory would be erased forever because they were sinful and vile and evil. They despised God. They cursed God. They said, in your face, and they had no repentance in their heart, and that they were uh, sinning uh, evil, e evil and, and doing wrong continually all day long. So they, they died, they perished, and their memory is gone forever. And then we have uh, Rachel and Amuna. Amuna means our mother. <laughs> so there's uh, Raquel and uh, Leah and Rachel, and, and uh, they're known as the matriarchs. And so we call Rachel Imuna, Rachel our mother. Um, she was giving birth to Benjamin on this day and uh, passed away. So this is the day of her birth and the day of her death. And we know this is also the day of Benjamin's birth and the day of his death. So we have a lot of very exciting activities going on. A lot of exciting information. Oh my, <laughs> on this day. I want to thank you for joining with me.